back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you stay and join the clan. Today's video has to be one of the most highly requested videos that I've received on my Instagram. So I'm super excited to dive into today's content. And I want to call this more of a surgery list more than a packing list because the things that I've purchased are not necessarily going to be going with me to Houston and um when I was purchasing things I was thinking more so like what do I need for recovery versus like what do I need to take with me to Houston so some of the things I may use on week one versus some other things where I may use on week four or five so I want you to keep that in mind as you're watching okay. don't feel like you gotta go out and buy all of these stuff like I am an over planner I like to make sure I have every Every single thing that I could possibly need so I stand behind all of the items that I purchased so don't feel like you have to write in the comments what you think I may or may not need because at this point it's already too late and everybody's recovery is different so just wanted to put that out there timestamps are going to be listed below based on the section and I've organized everything so that it'll be really easy for you to come back and take a second look if you need to I want to start us off by reading the recovery package that my doctor's office is offering and for those of you who are new i have decided to go with dr zhang he has his own facility called premier surgical arts and if you wanted to hear more about why i chose them go ahead and take a look at the last video that i posted all right so I'm pretty sure i got everything all right so the ultimate bbl recovery package comes with two additional garments an abdominal board a BBL pillow, a female urinal, absorbent pads, antibacterial bath cloths, two packages, and large bed cover pad, two of those. So the total price for those, uh, those items retail at 396, but they're giving their dolls a special of 325 for those items. So I think that's really good. The things that I think I love the most about this will probably be the BBL pillow that they provide as well as the two additional garments. One of the garments are the same size as the garment you'll have on coming out of surgery. So you'll be able to switch those up. So when one's washing and drying, you can have on the other so that you don't have to be out of your faja for too long. So now that you know what the doctor's office is providing, I'm gonna go ahead and dive into the things that I have purchased. So get ready. <laughs> So the first thing that we're going to be going through is clothing. I'm going to show you the robes that I purchased and the robes are going to be used to wear over my Fajas during the, my stay at the recovery and of course like who doesn't love robes? I'll definitely be using them all the way through the rest of my recovery as well. They're super lightweight, super soft material and they're pink. I'm going to be showing you are the dresses that I'll be wearing during my recovery some of the dresses will be coming with me to Houston to wear over my faja um, and out to the massages when I go get my massages so I'll go ahead and show you those that I want to show you in terms of wearables are the shoes that I'll be wearing. I'm 
I also have another pair that are kind of like dingy that I'm going to be wearing as well. They're just like the, the slippers that kind of strap. So it's really simple. You don't have to see those because they're just so old. Uh, the next thing I'm going to be showing you is what I'm going to be wearing underneath the Faja. about to show you are my compression tank tops that I'll be wearing underneath the Faja. I have two um, compression black compression tank tops in size large and extra large and then I have two compression tank tops in size small slash medium and they are seamless And they're stretchy so they'll be really good for that okay so the next two items that I want to show you to tie up this section on wearables are my knee braces so I got two pink knee braces because I know I'm gonna be on my knees a lot during the surgery because we can't sit and so I got two of these and I also got a three pack of large slash extra large compression socks. And they are open toe compression socks. And I tried them on and they do feel comfortable, so I'm excited about those. Okay, so now I wanna go ahead and pivot onto another section and this is going to be my treatment supplies section. First things first, we have our extra strength Tylenol. This Tylenol is gonna be used to wean me off of the pain medication so that when I don't wanna take the pain medication, I'll be able to take the Tylenol extra strength throughout my post-op recovery period. I also have some Tylenol extra strength PM to help with sleeping because it will be difficult to sleep, sometimes because of the anesthesia, other times just because it's gonna be so uncomfortable. Next, I have some treatment for the itching that's gonna be happening. So first thing I have is the cortisone 10 eczema that's supposed to help with the skin. And I also have this dermoplast this one comes highly praised by women who have had surgery and women who have been pregnant before and said that they experience a lot of itching. So that's exciting. And I also have this um, Arnicare gel, which is used for muscle pain, stiffness, and swelling from injuries as well as bruising. So this is, you know, for pain relief. Now for treatment in terms of like making sure that I don't get any infections, I have this Neosperm that's going to be used. In terms of treatment for scarring, I have this bio oil. I've heard great things about this bio oil. I haven't used it myself, but I have heard great things about it. and the silicone scar treatment sheets. What is it called? In terms of treating constipation and uh, just that whole digestive system, I do have some stool softeners, as well as some super colon cleanse. So I'll probably use this super colon cleanse as a last resort. If it's just like nothing else is working, I'll try probably some tea. And if that doesn't work, then I'll probably move on to this super colon cleanse. All right, so I'm gonna pack this stuff up and then we're gonna go ahead and move to some wound care supplies. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the wound care supplies. First thing I wanna show you are these under pads. These are very um, 
these can be used for multiple different things. I've seen them used in massages to help with uh, draining on the floor. When all of the like fluid comes out of you, they catch it uh, by putting this underneath you as well as putting these on the bed to catch some of that fluid as well as you drain. In that same light, I purchased some surgical pads which are extra absorbent to help with that as well when you're draining. And I also have the smaller ones for the incisions. These are two by two sterile, backwards, okay. These are two by two sterile gauze pads. I also have the Hybocleanse, which will be used during the first week of surgery, starting the night before the morning of surgery when you take that shower. Next are alcohol prep pads. I heard that you can smell these if you feel faint and it'll help. I haven't tried it, but I don't know. <laughs> The last thing that I got in terms of wound care are these micropore tape and surgical tape. So my skin bruises really easy, so I'll probably be using the micropore tape because it doesn't leave bruises and it's really easy to come off of the skin. And I like it because it's close to my skin complexion. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pack this up and I'll move on to vitamins next. Okay, so in terms of vitamins, I don't want to position myself as some type of like expert because I don't know exactly like what everybody will need because like their body, everybody's body is different. So I'm just going to go through the things that of course I know that I'm going to need. First thing will be these liquid IVs. I absolutely swear by these. I love these. I, ever since I discovered them, they've just been such a blessing. They help with hydration. And this particular pack also helps with immune support as well. And you know that you'll need your immune system to be really, really good to help with um, fighting off infections and things of that nature. Now, the only thing that I do wanna point out about these liquid IVs is that they do have sodium in them. So please be very careful with that because I know following the surgical procedure, we're supposed to be very careful about our sodium intake. So use with care. The next thing I want to talk about are the actual vitamins that I'll be taking. Um, these vitamins are from VitaFusion and I take these every day anyways. So I'll be taking these following the surgery as well to keep myself healthy. And I'll also be taking these iron supplements from Dr. Sabi. These are really good because they help with your lymphatic system as well as increasing your iron levels. I love these things. Like I think that they really helped me get my iron up before um, I did my labs. So it says it increases iron levels, cleanses the blood, and supports a healthy immune system. So in the same light with the immune defense, I'll be probably using some of this Wellagen in smoothies just to help build that immune system even more. But again, be really careful with these powders because sometimes they do contain sodium. So just something for you to keep in mind. So that is it in terms of the vitamins that I'll be taking during my uh, post-op recovery period. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the supplies that the massage therapist requested that I get. So as I'm recording this video, the coordinator actually reached out to me and said that she has a date that's open on June 7th. Am I interested? Oh! <laughs> so I'm going to be getting my surgery on June 7th. Oh my gosh. My heart is beating so fast. I'm so excited. <sighs> All right. Let me collect myself. I cannot believe that. June 7th. Wow. Okay, let me finish this video. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I needed a moment just to kind of collect myself. That was insane. I was hoping that I would get a date. 
anyways i'll make another video about that let me just continue on with this one all right so the i was actually pulling up when i saw the email i was in the midst of pulling up um the massages the info packing list and what they told me I, that, that i needed so the first thing is face masks gauze dial soap antibacterial wound cleanser two boxes of ginger tea with ter with turmeric two ripe papayas fresh pineapple arnica peels and baby wipes okay so i got some of those things and everything else um, as far as the fruit, I'll purchase once I'm actually there. So here is the Arnica tea. Nobody told me, but I also got pineapple tea. <laughs> I also have these Arnica tablets. As well as Dial soap. and extra face masks and the Arnica soothing oil. They didn't tell me to get that, but I said, I'm gonna go ahead and get it. <laughs> so I'm gonna pack this stuff up for the massages and then I'm gonna, oh, and also baby wipes. Okay, so I'm gonna pack this stuff up from the massage supply list and I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the things that I'm buying, the things that I purchased to bathe with. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through the supplies that I'll be using to bathe. And I went out to Target and I bought a bunch of black rags because I know that it's probably going to be really like bloody and stuff like that. So um, I'll be able to like have that. And then I also have two black towels that I also got from Target. As well as more dial soap to use following my... Um, after I get done using the HybaCleanse, I'll be transitioning to dial soap to make sure that my body stays clear of bacteria. And I'll be using this Dove soap for downstairs because I cannot use nothing else downstairs or else Miss Thing will be on a fire. <laughs> okay, so now I will be transitioning to miscellaneous items that I purchased to be used throughout my recovery period. First thing that I have in terms of miscellaneous supplies is this measuring tape. So I'll be using this measuring tape to measure myself to track my progress throughout the post-op recovery period. The next thing I have is this satin pillowcase. I'll be using this to make sure these edges stay laid throughout my recovery period. <laughs> I also have some hand sanitizing wipes that I'll be using as well as some disinfectant wipes and some oral supplies just to pack that retainers things to clean my retainers and then toothpaste and toothbrush i have this bbl toilet seat riser and i'll be using this as well depending on what recovery house i stay at i may or may not need it during that time but when i get back home i know i will I also have this boppy pillow. This boppy pillow is gonna help a lot during my recovery. Um, it hasn't helped a lot with sleeping right now as it did um, just to help me sit up when I'm like laying on my stomach and on my phone. So I don't know how useful it's gonna be, but seems like I'll be able to tell you more really, really soon. So that's exciting. I also have a heating pad. I heard that that helps with the stomach pain that you feel or the stomach discomfort that you feel as well as a muscle roller stick this is supposed to be really helpful for like self massages when it gets to that point it was one small item that I missed for the miscellaneous and this is this Jergens skin firming lotion and this is supposed to use to help moisture rise the skin and tighten it and increase elasticity in the cellophone, cellophone, <laughs> cellulite prone skin. 
Now I'm going to be going through my lipo foams and boards. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is this lumbar board that it's supposed to be placed um, at the low back part when you're wearing your faha. I'll show you. To help with compressing that back area right there. And you will have an option to get this off of Amazon, but don't because they're charging four times the amount that the actual website is charging. So I'll have that information below. The next thing I want to show you are the foam boards that I plan on using in the beginning of my um, compressing period when I'm doing a lot of draining because I don't want my foam boards to get all icky and dirty. Um, I got these black ones. And they are washable. And then I also have some white foam boards. As I transition out of that draining period, I have these white foam boards. And they do come in a three pack, both of them. And as I get further in my recovery period, I'm gonna transition to this lipo foam board that I got from Shape Curvy. And this is in size small. I also have size extra small, but I don't know if my waist is gonna get that small. I hope it does, but I'm not sure. So just in case, um, I have that as well. All right, so that is actually it for today's video. I hope that it was really helpful for you and I didn't talk your ear off too much, but I'm super excited for you guys to be going on this journey with me. Like I cannot believe that my surgery date just got pushed up. I was originally booked for um, February of 2022, but now I'm getting my surgery next Monday. Oh, I can't believe it. So thank you guys for watching um, and stay tuned because my next video is coming right up.